Greetings, people of the internet. This is Cardiax, and today is a practice video, I guess. <laughs> um, lately, I keep wanting to practice new things I don't typically do. And I know I've said this a few times in different videos, you know, listing things that I wish I could work on. So this is me actually getting started and attempting to do that. So... As you can see, I have a kind of mood board, I guess, on the far right of the screen, and that is a uh, program that I've used a little bit lately that allows me to just stick a whole bunch of pictures in one spot, and I can see them all at one time if I so choose. And it's very handy, so I decided to choose a bunch of poses and also, um, references for skin tone, because in this, in this practice thing, <laughs> I wanted to do a different pose that I don't ever really do, as well as a skin tone that I never do. So, feel free to comment down below and, and uh, see if you can guess what pose I choose at the very end if you haven't figured it out yet. Just I always draw, I always color, I always whatever, um, characters that have really light toned skin and it's probably because I have light toned skin myself and I don't often see people who have darker skin certain, uh, past a certain point anyway. And so I decided I wanted to change that and see if I could figure out a decent way to at least get started with coloring and shading skin tones that are darker. So yeah, so that's why you see a few headshots on the quote-unquote mood board that are of just mostly girls actually, just dark skin. Anyway. What I've noticed though that it's that's quite a bit different from lighter skin tone is that often the redness in a lighter tone will be a little bit more obvious. And since the darker scone darker darker scone dark, darker skin is mostly kind of brownish, the red doesn't really show up that much because it's the skin itself is pretty much Kind of a reddish brown. So there was that. <clears throat> I think I'll still add just a little bit of extra red just because I like doing those little blushes and stuff whenever I do a uh, lighter skin. One of the things that I'll that I had a bit of struggle with is trying to figure out how to do the highlights on the skin. Like it was very unusual, I guess. I kind of like the uh, one picture with the kind of pinkish highlighted tones, so I kind of attempted doing that. And this scene here looks very much like a sunset kind of lighting, which I kind of like. It's very peaceful kind of, and it kind of fits with the mood of this girl sitting on a, a swing set that she probably hasn't sat on since she was little. I really would like to do more things like this that kind of tell a story. It's a lot more fun to do these things when it feels like there is a story behind it. For example, like when Annalise and uh, Kavita were in the park, that drawing wasn't based on anything like canon in their story or anything, it was just something that, I, that came to mind. And this is not like a character that I, I have or anything. She doesn't have a name or anything. I just decided that I almost, I do have a darker skin tone character that I don't ever use because I just kind of don't really think about her that much. I do want to use her for my webcomic though, so she'll probably pop up again later. Until then, I, uh, um, 
I considered using her for this uh, work, but I also kind of wanted to try something different because she, the character that I have with a dark skin tone, has like white hair and um, yellow eyes. That's just how she came out. But I wanted something a little bit more natural, so people with this type of skin tone tend to have like brown and black hair, so I wanted to attempt rendering that. At first it was going to be black, but then when the highlights came in, they, it kind of made it look almost brown, and I kind of like that effect, so I just left it. Yep. I also wanted the kind of simple sundress that she was wearing to have some kind of print. And I didn't really think about what print to put on her dress until at the very end, and I kind of thought that since this is kind of a very summer scene, I decided to draw little bitty um, four-leaf clovers on her dress. I thought it was cute anyway. It was a simple choice, but I liked it. I was going to do a little bit more for the background, but I figured that since this was kind of just a casual thing to give some practice to myself, I figured that it wouldn't be a big deal if I just left the background white and worked on everything around her, like the the ground below her and the the vines in the on the swing to give it a more aged look. Also, I believe the reference I used to get this pose had vines on the swing set, so that kind of worked out, I guess. It's not my favorite work, but I think I like it. I hope you guys do, too. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it then. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy these little videos in which I try to learn something new. I'm gonna, I hope to make this kind of a somewhat regular thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Comment, share, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and click a link if you want to. Okay. Thanks. Bye.